Okay, we're here for the after action report today, after stream report. And XAR is here to help me figure something out real quick that is beyond my know-how. Because we are just about completely out of power. We've been fighting through power all day. And I think the biggest issue is that I set these up today. I changed them over from doing making coke to burning coke to make coal gas and tar. And I added in two more up here. But I am always full of coal gas and tar. So I'm not making enough coke which I can fix by adding in some more of these but what I want to do is turn these off I can easily do this to stop them from taking their from getting the coke but I don't want to do that I want him to show me a proper way of doing it so take it away George <laughs> take it away George we, we should take it away. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, exactly. So the easiest thing to do to turn on or off a baked machine is to turn on or off full input. In this case, there's an input line of coal, the, the coke that we need to, to run this. So you can start with uh, simply just putting a wire on that line. You can hook a wire to a belt? That go into the belt or to the into spinner? the belt that you just cut in half. So put the belt back and put a line there. I didn't know you could put them straight to a belt. Yeah, and then connect to that to a power pole. Okay. And then you you'll we'll need that signal. We'll need to be able to signal that anyway. Um, so the default action is to enable disable, and so it's disabled right now. So it's functionally off we can come back but that's the easiest way to like control that uh that entire bank of machines is to signal it. now what do we need to do to, to to create that signal so we have both this tar gas and the coal gas mm -hmm. and we're going to need to determine if we have enough of them. so we're going to want to put down a decision uh combinator uh for each of those does it matter the input and the output arrows? What is that for? Um, that's just which side you connect the cable. Oh, okay. And they do need to be powered. Okay. So okay. I got three of them down here. Great. Um, hover over the pole that you have connected to the red line between the two sets of tanks already. Okay. The, the one to the left. Okay, so you've already got both of the tanks in, which is great. So yep. we can put the red line into two of those combinators there. Can I just go from one combinator to the other? Do I have to go pole to combinator? You can go to, from combinator to combinator. Okay. Okay. So now go into one of them and uh, we want to decide we want condition is the gas that we want to pick and is greater than uh, amount that we want it to be on or it could be less than the structure um, I tend to just go greater than uh, and then greater than like I don't know you said those are a thousand so greater than uh, uh, hours, right yeah they're 1k So you're saying set it to greater than you can type in that box. Yeah. Okay. And, and then we'll maybe do the, the same output. thing for the other one. Sure. All right. I just got to find coal gas. Hold on. In regular Factorio and most modded, I never use a search function. In this one, I have to. <laughs> Signal. 
All right. Okay. So they're then for output, set data. Um, we want to output one. And then we need to choose a, a signal um, that we want to output. Uh, the hard thing to get over if you're not used to um, the signal outputs is that everything in Factorio is automatically in its own channel. Is if you were comparing to like Redstone, this would be every cable is a bundled cable, and every time everything that you're measuring is its own channel in that bundle. And so like you can arbitrarily like when you pick an output, you can arbitrarily pick whatever signal channel you want to place that signal on. It's technically irrelevant. So you could on these say output the water as one, it doesn't matter because it's not the count of an item. And so like your brain might break around that. So there's the just the regular uh, outputs. So I like to say, since turning these on, if they're over 100, we're going to output green. Output green? Yeah, there should be, um, yeah, there should be uh, the colors on the top right. There's oh, a red, a blue, this alpha. Thing. Yeah, okay. Output green. Okay, and we want both to output green. Okay. So what does that essentially do? So if this condition is met, we will get the we will get a one value of green. And so go ahead and connect one of those outputs to that pole on the right. Okay, so connect this to here sure. or back to this one. Uh to the pole on the right is fine. Okay. Okay, so now if you hover over that pole you can immediately see the signal, and so it's got the red backing coming from the red network, and then we have one green. So we know that we have over 800 of one of the two items. Okay. Okay, so now we need to do that to the other combination um, that we set up. And you're going to need some more wires. Okay, so now we have two. So both of them are over 800. I got to ask a really Dumb question real quick. What the hell is the difference between red and green for the wires? Uh, it's just two channels. You can isolate them on the same sets of poles. Okay, but I tried to do that here where I had red and green. A, you didn't do it on a, on, a, on a thing. It is a connectivity thing. It's not a decision. So the things that decide automatically count, sum up everything in both channels. Oh, okay, because see, I was thinking that I could get two conditions mm -hmm. by putting a red one and a green one, and it didn't work. Because the original way I set this up, the reason why there's red is this red is running from that tank down here and connecting here, and then the green one I ran from here to here so I could tell if I had... Um, too much coal gas, then it would turn off the pump to not make more out of tar. But if I had too much tar, turn it on because I had to get rid of it. So basically I was doing the same thing, but it wasn't working and it pissed me off. So what I needed was these. Okay. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to decide what we want to turn on the sets of bulbs with. And the answer is relatively easy at this point. We would say if there's two greens, then we will, uh, then if we have uh, two or more greens, then we'll go ahead and turn on that bell. So actually, I, in the current setup, we don't actually need the third. Uh, Combinator. Oh, we'll get there to a second. So you can connect that red pole um, back to the regular network um, to one of the other red poles. Okay. Okay. And so now, if we hover over the pole again, we can see the we can see all the signals. Um, oh, you you bypass that pole. Okay, that's fine. That pole is only connected to that belt. So now, if you go to that belt. 
um, and you set its condition to e as green is equal to two, uh, it will run uh, right now. Okay, but we don't want that. We want it off when it's in this condition? Um, yeah, because we're full right now. Okay. So we so, want it off because this is making the gases. Okay. If we're full on gas, we don't want it to make any more. All right. And this gas does see, this is kind of the issue is... We're going to have to set up the other one, too, because as you can see, I have, I'm full on coal gas right now, mm -hmm. but I'm not oh, full. That's 10K, on. not 1K. That says 1K. It does say 10K there, but if you look at the tank, it says... Up at the top, it says Pi Tank 1KL is well, the type of thing. It's wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. I didn't even notice that. It is a 10K tank, but the name of it's one. That's a typo. <laughs> oh, no. Greg! Oh, wait. Sorry. Wrong mod. It's it's just a condition. He's conditioned me so much. I find something wrong, I blame Greg. Okay, so now we have the issue of I need to turn off these and on. So it should be this should be set right, right? If When do you no. want it to turn on? I want it to turn on when the coal gas is low, but I don't want it to use up my tar if it is too high, or if it is too low. This is gonna. This is really confusing. I hope you can figure out how to do this. I'm guessing I need to do the decider thing again. Yes. So because we set them so in the current condition you set up two deciders at the same value to mm -hmm. emit a single value that you can compute a, 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 a single signal that you can then test on. Mm -hmm. um, you would do the, you would do a similar thing, but you can set it for the greater than and less than. Okay, so I'll set these up down here. So I'm gonna need two of them again, right? Yep. Okay, and then I need to get power to them, and then I can use the same signal off of this pole, because that's reading the conditions I care about. So we need one set to the... This. We need one set to the uh, R, and then you want these to be a different color than green? Doesn't matter as long unless you merge the networks. Uh, yeah, it's merged. And okay. you need to set it to one. Okay, so we need that to set to one. We're going to set this one to blue. We'll set it to one and see right now this thing is pumping and I don't want it pumping. Mm -hmm. Do I have to take the pump out to get that wire off of there? No, you can remove it, but we can just output. We can just, you can create two more green wires and you can just use green and connect right to it. Okay. So what are we doing for this condition? Okay, so... You need to um, set this. Is this the one that you want it to turn on with, or if you have enough of, or turn off if you have, don't have enough? If I am low on this one, I need it to turn on. You need it to turn on. Mm -hmm. So set this is to greater than something.
Okay, about 400, that would be... Or wait a minute, we want this, uh, this is a 10K tank. So we'll say if it's greater tank. than five, so if it's half a tank, okay, it'll shut off. All right. Okay. And then this one is if I'm low on tar, I don't want it to turn on either. So then if it's less than, we'll say 500 or 5, well, no, I'll say 2 for this one because I don't need that much creosote. Okay. So this one is greater than, this one is less than, and then you're saying I should be able to just do this yep. up to there and then change this to... The blue? Yep. And is and probably two. You probably have to mess around with this. Um, so right now you have only one of those conditions is valid. Uh, so you okay. see that if you hover if you hover over the combinator, um, you can see that you only have it hover over the top one. There you go. So you see the one output signal. So you only have one blue right now. The other one's not outputting its signal. So it's not going to turn on it too. Okay. So I'm not sure that that's going to work the way that you want it to. And so what you might do, and I don't know that you need to do it. Um, you, you need to see if this is working the way you want it. You might need to bias the two signals, which means that you take a uh, an arithmetic combinator and you uh, minus one side from the other. And what happens when you do that is you would then create like a zero value and you want the zero value to be on. Okay, well, I happened to make one of them before, and I just screwed up and made another one. So now you're saying I should be able to go from... You do output guys. to input. Yep. Input will be the blue signal, and we want to do what to these? So you would... Um... Are we doing like oh, a? Or you can do. Uh, you'd probably do XOR. That's what I was just thinking. I'm. I seen those at the bottom, and I was thinking, "Ooh, I redstone." Like new. <laughs> Is that new? I think so. Maybe this mod. Maybe one of your mods adds it. Okay. So we want it to. And then you want to output a different thing color because you don't want to mix your your outputs. Okay. And um, what is our it, constant number going to be? Uh, I don't know what an XORing constant does. Hmm. It's either going to be 1 or 0. You can't XOR anything else. Alright, now how do I take these green cables off here that I put onto that pump? Um, you can just, with a cable that already exists, you can run it between two points and it'll disconnect it. Oh. That's awesome. Alright, so then if I run this up to here and then change this to pink and tell it. Probably one. One? It's one or zero. Not we're gonna be two. <laughs> well, I've got this set to zero for the constant number, so I figure I'll do zero here for right now. Yeah. And then that should it's mean that the up. pump will be off. And the the bad thing is that this thing is gonna be full forever. I swear. 
So I don't know that we're going to be able to test it because we're always full on coal gas. But at least this way, we're not making any more of it. And the big thing is we're not using, we're not making it any more coal gas out of our coke here. Yeah. Which is the important thing. So that hopefully fixed that. And hopefully I can remember this next time. Now so I'm going to, what? The other thing that you can potentially do to test it is you can either screw with the input and like move the input um, thing from the actual thing you're testing to something that's not a signal. So you click on one of the combinators mm -hmm. uh, down there and you change that from oil to like, or from the tartar to water. Oh, okay. Right? And then that will give you something that's not on the network. And you can see if it behaves the way that you want. So it's still off. Mm hmm And so you can test the way that you want. You can test to see if that's what you got. So you're having output of two. Wait, why do you have an output of two on the network? I don't know. Do you tell me? Of, change one of those to... Um, No, okay, no, no, I, not that. Well, I just wanted to uh, change both of them to a fluid that wasn't right. Well, you have a one for some reason. Oh, because it's less than. That's right. Okay, and then what's the output? This is outputting one blue. You might need to have them on different outputs. I actually don't know how an XOR is going to the system. It should just well if this can I, I got an idea hold on if this condition is going to give me a one back real quick um, XOR requires XOR will flip every zero right Ain't that like an and or? And no, it'll flip every zero unless both, unless all of them are the same. Wait, why do you have two as the output? I don't know. It might work better if you um, change the conditions so that they're not, so that they're uh, opposing, um, so they don't both output one when you want. I don't know how to say this right. Um, so you want to create a bias between the one uh, in the, the running state and the not running state. And if both of the comparators or deciders are set to be true in the optimal situation, there's actually no difference. Um, and so you can't you you can't really tell which one enabled. So if you set them up so that the uh, non-optimal condition is either zero or two, then you can test for one being the correct op the correct situation for turning the pump on. Does that make Why sense? Does, yeah, I was thinking of something now. If I have this one sending me a signal of one saying that it is greater than 5k, so mm -hmm. I don't want it to make it, and then I have this one sending me one if it is less than two, 
which means I don't want it to be on, then couldn't I just take and set this signal to zero with them um, it'd be like uh, adding it together you can minus them but they need to be different colors and you need yep. to change input to to for each so on this one go on the um, the map one the bottom one Okay, so we'll make that one cyan, and then this would be... How do you set two different colors in here, though? There's a star up the top, which means for each. Okay. And then you just minus... Um, why would you minus a constant? No. Uh, uh, minus each. Click on that. That's the zero. Oh, okay. Oh, you can do uh, color minus color because you're only doing two. You don't need for each for each. Um, so you can do the cyan versus blue or whatever you changed it to. How the hell are you doing that? Oh, I know uh, what you're saying. So here color, I would do that. Yeah. And then minus for here color. I would do blue, right? Yeah. So blue. There we go. Cyan. So blue and cyan will give me a pink. Yep. And then this needs to be if pink equals one. Um, no, they'll never. They should. It should never equal. It. It should be one and a not off. And it should be minus one, and not off. Right. So zero should be both of them being true. Oh. Okay. Because one minus one should give you zero. That's why I'm saying yeah. like create a create a bias so that one once the one of them is represented as a negative, one state's representative as a negative, the other side of the state is represented as a positive, and then in the middle is, is the one you want to turn on. Okay. Okay, so the pump is on now. Because the tar is be. getting full. Yep. So it is doing its thing. Which must mean that we are, which we're full of coal gas still, though. But that'll just fill up the machine until it can use the stuff that's there. But see, this is kind of the issue is these this whole row are all making tar and coal gas mm -hmm. and so if this thing is full of coal gas none of these can run yeah so that's why i have to make sure that the tar does not turn on to make coal gas unless i think what i really need to do which i hate the fact that this is what I need to do. But I think I need to put in one of the void things for the tar. Potentially. Or, if you're at like 99%. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or, or just figure out how to burn it faster. Yeah, that's actually part of my problem is the fact that when I get to this point, I'm like not making enough. I can't make enough power. I don't have accumulators or anything to store it. And I just am not using the stuff to make power enough. Once I get power going, I'm good. It's just trying to find that balance of those two fluids is a pain in the ass. Because, see, right now, my satisfaction is completely full, and my production is under half. Yep. Now, once I start kicking on some other stuff, 
I'm sure that's going to change and I'll be using it up again. I was thinking maybe um, another idea would be to make a great big tank to put in for tar. Like right now I'm using this, uh, this tallings pond over here. Because see, this is a backup for that tar. There's 79k in this damn pond. So I am really backing up on that um, tar stuff. But I was thinking maybe I could use it as like a backup tank. But maybe I just need to put some more of these back in. But I don't know. Now that I got this set up to where I'm not going to be making it here. But see, this well, thing keeps kicking on, and I don't want it kicking on right now. So then we don't have the the um, then we don't have the conditions right. Okay. So you probably want to invert one of the greater than. Uh, one of the the fuel conditions to greater than less than doesn't divide the other way. But that way, make them both greater than. And like I said, you're gonna you're probably gonna have to play around with, right? Because I didn't actually go one. All right. Well, next stream, I'm gonna move these over to the other side. Mm-hmm. Um, that way it's closer to where I'm actually using the coal gas. I'm trying to clean out some of this middle area so I can do some more. Uh, see, I switched that condition. It's still turning on. Why are you turning on? Oh, There's you're still using stuff in what's that. inside. That's why. Okay. But I think what I'm going to be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a few more of these just as a backup for when these can't run i'm still making um coke this way and hopefully that'll help a little bit with my power yeah. issues all right so i'm gonna kick you out now and finish up my video thanks for the help again no problem i'll yell at you next time i fuck something up okay so today's stream was basically this running out of power again because of this issue i started off with trying to set up these for borax but i realized that i was full of tallings again so rather than setting them up i came up and I actually started to set up this up here, which is all set up and ready to go for turning our talons into coal water slurry. The problem, though, is that we need a different research to be able to do that. I think it's called Electricity 2. I can remember what it looked like. Actually, actually see it in there. Let me look in FNEI here. So it should be cold water slurry. So we can turn cold water slurry and coke with water into combustion mixture, but we need energy generation 2 and energy generation 2 is going to take methanol processing 1 and 2 and then we can do that we've got everything else so I'm gonna go ahead and start methanol 1 and then we can get to that and then we can start actually using our tallings to make us combustion mixture also and I think what I might do to help save on this issue we've been having is I might put in a tank 
for the combustion mixture stuff. And um, just kind of start stockpiling it a little bit. That way when we do start running out of um, power where these can't keep up anymore, I'll have a backup. And so I think that's what I'll probably do to help with this problem. Because once we kick in these, then we're going to have even more problem with our coal gas and our tar. But I'm hoping that the conditions that we set up over here to keep these guys from making it um, after a little while. Because even if this one doesn't work where it turns the, the gasifiers on, if I can't get this bank set up, at least these turning off that belt is going to help tremendously. But anyways, after I got done with that, then I started with cleaning this area out. I looked up and found that turning coal gas into syn gas is better. It's 70 to 100. Um, you do... Uh, here it is. 50 coal gas plus oxygen and water will turn into 100 syn gas. And it will give me tar back, which then again I can turn into more coal gas. So I decided to run these three over here on syn gas. I had one of them here. I just moved it over. So we're now... Uh, syn gas for our combustion. I moved the two powerhouses over here so they will run on syn gas, which we are not making any syn gas right now. That's because we are full. It says we're full on tar. I didn't think that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's full. So, yeah. I have to make sure that we do not make any damn coal gas because I have to get that I've been trying to get these ponds out of here and I had it down to where we had none but now I gotta turn them back on again and hopefully that'll help with that issue this is putting out ash which you can see that it's kind of a problem at the moment because I don't have uh, the belt ran, so only one of those can really run at the moment. Um, I'm actually going to run this in between now and the next stream and get it over there with the rest of the ash, and that'll fix that issue. But this is what we worked on most of the time. I did go, and there was a real small biter nest here and a real small biter nest like right over here. And I got rid of those. That way I could do some work up here in the desert. And hopefully not activate them. Luckily as you can see there are trees just packed full. Because I do not want to go mess with that nest. Or that nest. But that one I'm probably going to have to. Uh, pretty soon. And I went when I went to go deal with the biters. I found out that they had evolved. And were the bigger guys. So they kicked on my butt a little bit. Luckily I was in the really dense trees. And I could hide from them in the trees. And so they didn't kill me. And I came back and set up this here. Which is making me the uh, piercing ammo. Which is just steel and lead. So we're using lead, which I need to turn that off. I wanted it to actually use it. So I don't want it using my lead to make any more of them. It's going to end up running out. I want to get rid of this box. Um, what I actually am going to do is actually take this out of here. And I'm going to let that run down. I've got plenty of them in here now. And then when...
I actually take some out of here, then I will put uh, this up here so it'll just pull out, put it on the belt with the lead. Because the lead's only on that one side of the belt. We also got research done for copper and lead processing. So as soon as I get some of the other things done that I need to do, I can uh, finally set up that. But I need to get to that um, tallying stuff immediately. Um, that's one of my biggest issues is keeping tallings and I need to get the borax processing set up better. We also are having issues with making glass again because I you come up here you can see I have no stone very little stone coming in and so I have very little sand I have no pure sand so we're not getting a whole lot of sand dealt with so we're gonna have to deal with that next time as well should be as simple as setting up some more miners down here for stone um, we're getting coal again. I thought I had that dealt with. Oh, nope. I guess this guy's putting out coal. Yeah, it looks like that this is the kind of an issue here. If I get rid of this. Coal off of there. And then we can get that stone up there better. Uh, basically, our processing lines that are giving us stone are uh, not running fast enough. I ran out, and you can see I am just pumping through iron like crazy. I've got a, or aluminum like crazy, so I am going to have to go find another iron, or damn it, aluminum vein soon. I can go ahead and put some over here. And I still have some up there that I can get cleared out. But this will give me more area here. So it's nice that it's getting cleared out. Because this smelter cannot keep up in any way, shape, or form. With the amount of um, that blue duralium stuff. Or aluminum stuff. I'm actually starting to get backed up here. But... Um, I think that's only because I haven't been running science a whole lot. So we need to put in a few more of these smelters, which means we need more of the aluminum processing. But we have the processing for aluminum and for copper. And there's a way of mixing the two that I don't need the smelter. So... I need to get that done soon as well. That'll save on some of our aluminum. And we can use molten copper instead of our copper plates. I was hoping to get my mall set up today. But that didn't happen. And with us running out of aluminum here. Um, I think I'm going to have to do the copper and the aluminum set up next time so we might be doing more processing next time if my power is going to behave itself and stay nice like it is we'll set up some foundries over here by the way if anybody knows how to get rid of these tips please let me know because they are pissing me off but yeah, that's kind of what we did today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the circuit talk with XAR. He knows a whole lot more about this than I do. And we'll see if we can work on figuring out getting this one set. I think part of the problem is that this tank for some reason does not stay full. I may need to reroute 
these pipes because there's an ass ton in this tiling pond, but the pipe isn't full. So I think what I might need to do is set up a uh, like a top off valve that'll try to keep these under pressure and kind of do what I did. Let's go ahead and get this set right now so I don't forget um, what I did up here with the hydrogen and the oxygen where I have all the inputs coming in one spot and then all the outputs coming out another and then if I have to I can put in a pump but that is what's been going on um, I am going to be moving our time from 11 to noon I hope that doesn't bother anybody the after stream will still be at 5 p.m. But I'm going to move back one hour because here lately I've been having an issue with getting up that early. Um, I was late getting to the stream by like a half hour today because um, I couldn't fall asleep until like 6, 7 o'clock this morning. So I'm going to move it back to about noon. And I don't know... Um, how many of you folks are morning people? But I know there's at least one person that prefers my nighttime because it's their daytime. So if the stream would be better to be at night and then move the after stream report to the next morning, uh, we can do that as well. So we can stream like... Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night for me, which will be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday morning for anybody in Russia and Australia. Um, so let me know if that will help you guys out. Just leave me a comment or stop into Discord. If I can set up a poll, I'll do that too. Um, actually, I'll put one on in the community area or whatever if I can't put it on this video. Um, but let me know. And if it's more convenient for you guys, I'll move it to nighttime because it'll be way more convenient for me. Um, I only do it in the daytime because that's when I was putting out the video. Um, but from watching my analytics, it looks like most of the views from this don't come on until the evening. Maybe that's an option. It'll be a win-win for everybody. So let me know what you guys think. And we'll go from there. So thanks a lot. See you later. Have a good one. Don't forget to hit the buttons and do the things.